I need to play this game. I need to make a video. No, go away. I need to Vince. Play. I'm playing Castlevania. Vince, you need to make Get a video. Get the fuck out of here! I'm playing Castlevania! No! Oh! 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 God! Just let me play Castlevania in peace! Please! 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 Okay. You need to make your video. Okay, I'll make it. Hey guys, are you fucking kidding me? Dude, come on now. No! This is not about you, it's about me! <laughs> Hi guys, <laughs> how's it going? Welcome back to the game chair with me, your host, Vince Gatlin, aka Vinny Splenda. Anyway, I got something to say. Um, there's been a lot of buzz this week. Uh, one name, Koji Igarashi. Mm -hmm. You know who he is. I know. I know you guys have heard about it. I'm not, I don't have any explaining to do. I already tried to do like three more takes of this video, or three takes before this video, um, with me talk, just talking and talking and talking about Castlevania and Koji Igarashi and all this stuff, and it was just kind of pointless because anybody who clicks on this video is probably already going to know, you know exactly um, who he is and about the Kickstarter campaign that raised over a million dollars in less than 24 hours. So that means we are getting a, um, a spiritual successor to Castlevania and it's going to be awesome. It's going to be so freaking cool. Like I can, I can, mm, I can smell the gothic aroma. I can already like picture it in my hands like yeah yeah I'm I'm a huge Castlevania fan like seriously it's one of my favorite series um, there's just something about gothic horror um, and the meshing together of so many different like um, elements of horror and stuff that I just love I can't resist it um, love it to death and I am so stoked that we are getting it like seriously um, but it's just so funny though like it strikes me so 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 funny because um, Konami basically told um, Koji Igarashi that nobody wants to play these kind of games anymore and they assigned him to some bullshit games to work on that he didn't really want to be involved with um, and that's probably what sucks the most about working for a game company that big is you don't get to choose what you want to work on most of the time um, you know it's like <laughs> they did the same exact thing is not the same exact thing, but they did a very similar thing to him that they did with Kojima. You know, basically like, ah, you made all these awesome classic games for us. Okay, we're going to throw you away. See you. See you later. They're not selling anymore. See ya. Um, Konami really fucking sucks. Oh my god. Like, I don't even see how that place is even still in business with how much they suck. Um, but anyway... Koji Igarashi, he went to other game publishers after he left Konami, and he tried to get his game funded. He had a new idea for a game that he wanted to make, um, a game that was going to be solely his own, you know, it wasn't going to have a Castlevania brand on it, and, you know, it wasn't going to have creative limitations or anything like that. It was just going to be a Koji Igarashi game straight from his mind, and that's really awesome. That's, it's going to be, it was going to be like the purest form of his vision possible, which is really cool. Um, as much as I love Castlevania, he gets Castlevania so much that he could make something, you know, with a totally different concept and totally different characters and story and stuff, and it could still be basically a Castlevania game. So, you get what I'm saying? Um, so anyway, he went to different publishers who also told him the same thing. Nobody wants to play this kind of game anymore, nobody wants to play it, blah blah blah. But you know, here we have in the background the indie gaming scene and you know, there's people following that. There's new Metroidvania style games coming out that people are just eating up. I mean, I just played Axiom Verge not too long ago and my god. Have you played Axiom Verge yet? Have you? If you haven't, go play it. My god. You gotta go play it. It's awesome. Um But there was a company, and they said that if he could prove to them that this style of games, this Metroidvania style of games, still held popularity and appeal to gamers, that they would um, help him fund the game. So 
you know, what he did is he made a Kickstarter campaign. He had a cool little pitch um, video, cool little pitch video, and it was really fun to watch. And um, he raised a million dollars in 24 hours. I think I said that, didn't I? I did. It's just so amazing. It's, it's amazing to me how little these gaming companies get it. They just don't get it. They don't get games anymore. They don't make games for out of passion anymore. They do it to make profits, and it's terrible. Granted, I mean, there are some um, developers who are very, very passionate about the games they make it, who work for big companies like that. Um, I mean, The Last of Us kind of proves that, doesn't it? The Last of Us was pretty badass. But um, I'm just so stoked about this whole thing. I'm so stoked about um, Koji Igarashi coming back and um, making a new game. I am. I think he's become my new hero, to be honest. Um, it's almost like an inspiration story or something. He kept fighting and fighting and fighting and fighting to get his game made. You know, he went to these different publishers. He tried for a while. Because I know it's been quite a while since he left. Well, no, it hasn't been that long. I think he left Konami in 2014. But um, it's been quite a while since he's been able to make a new Castlevania game or a new game in general, um, you know, on his own accord. Um, I can't believe the way they treated him. You know, Konami treated him in the traditional Konami fashion. Um, and, I mean, even as I talk about it, I can feel... I can feel it getting brighter in this room because it's just, it lights up my whole world like that in a dark gothic sort of way. But I just want to know what you guys think about all this. I want to know what you expect from the game. Personally, I expect it to be just like I said. I expect it to be a Castlevania game that's not a Castlevania game. And not only can I live with that, but I can I prefer that because it, it would be awesome to just kind of see it a whole new take on the, the whole formula and style and um, for me it feels like Castlevania has been dead for a while I feel like Konami really sold out with Lords of Shadow um, granted it was a good game in its own right I really wish they would have just called it Lords of Shadow and just dropped the Castlevania thing I feel like they just tacked it on there to try to make Castlevania popular to the mainstream that's exactly what they did um, and it didn't really have any defining Castlevania elements to it. I mean, there was a guy named Belmont who traveled to a big castle, which is close to the end of the game. Um, most of the levels are in daylight and stuff, and it was a very beautiful game. It was beautifully done, but it wasn't Castlevania. Um, I wouldn't turn to it for a true Castlevania experience. just wouldn't. Um, so, like I said, I want to know what you guys think. I want to know your expectations. Um, I donated $100 to the Kickstarter. Um, I really, really, really wish I could have donated more. Um, not, for, not for the awesome prizes, but just because I am so for this project. I just want to support it. Like, seriously, if I had a bunch of money, I would probably donate as much as I could. Um, hell, I'd even fund, if I had the money, I'd fund the game for them. Um, you know, that's just how much I love his work, and that's how much I respect him as a person. Like, I really think that he is a wonderful, wonderful developer, wonderful game maker. Um, oh, 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 I forgot. Also, um, Machiru Yamane, the composer for Symphony of the Night, Curse of Darkness, Lament of Innocence, um, Portrait of Ruin, Order of Ecclesia, Donna Sorrow, all those great Igavania games. Um, she's coming back to compose the soundtrack for Bloodstained. Did I even say the name of the game he's working on? Shame on me! Bad Vinny! Bad Vinny! Harry Potter must not go back to Hogwarts. <laughs> um, yeah, Bloodstained Ritual of the Night. You already know what the game's called. I shouldn't have to punish myself for making bad videos and being socially awkward and stuff. And but, um, Machiru, Machiru Yamane is coming back to compose the soundtrack. My favorite composer next to Nobuo Uemetsu. Literally. Wonderful composer. She gets it. She knows this, 
style of games, she knows how to perfectly compose each piece of music to go along with what's going on or what level. Um, she's going to be great. David Hayter of Metal Gear Solid fame, he's going to be in it. And that's really something to look forward to as well because I love me some David Hayter. He's, he seems like an awesome guy. Um, but what else? There's nothing else I really want to talk about. There's going to be some cool um, people helping him out with the game. I know some people apparently who worked on some of the Mega Man games and stuff, they're going to be helping him out. And um, super excited about that too. I mean, really though, I mean, I don't, I really just don't even see how this game could be bad. I mean, I hope I'm not building my expectations only to be let down, which happens sometimes, but it just doesn't really seem like there's any logical way this game could be bad unless it's just cursed or something, which I guess that does happen sometimes, but I've rambled on way too much and I've kept you guys um, from surfing the internet and getting on Facebook and I've kept you guys from your daily lives of technology and stuff like that. So, you know what, you guys, um, take care of yourselves and... Yeah. <laughs>